The National Historic Chemical Landmarks Program was launched by the American Chemical Society in 1992 to recognize significant achievements in the history of chemistry and related professions. The program celebrates the centrality of chemistry. The designation of such generative achievements in the history of chemistry demonstrates how chemists have benefited society by fulfilling the AXE vision, improving people's lives through the transforming power of chemistry. The program occasionally designates international historic chemical landmarks to commemorate chemists and chemistry from around the world that have had a major impact in the United States. Topic: <laughs> List of landmarks. Topic: 1993 Bakelite, the world's first completely synthetic plastic, developed by Leo Bakeland around 1907. Topic 1994. Chandler Chemistry Laboratory at Lehigh University, constructed in 1884. Joseph Priestley House, U.S. Home of Joseph Priestley, discoverer of oxygen, from 1798 to 1804. Topic nineteen ninety five Research on the atomic weight of oxygen conducted by Edward Morley at Case Western Reserve University, published in eighteen ninety five Nylon, the first totally synthetic fiber used in consumer products, commercialized by DuPont in nineteen thirty nine. First U.S. facility to produce acetyl chemicals commercially using coal gasification technology, opened by Eastman Chemical Company in nineteen eighty three. Riverside Laboratory for Oil Refining Research, constructed by Universal Oil Products in 1921. Topic 1996. Williams Miles History of Chemistry Collection at Harding University, established in 1992. The Hodry process for catalytic cracking of crude petroleum into gasoline, developed by Eugene Hodry and the Sun Oil Company in the 1930s. Chem Tone Wall Finish, the first commercially successful water-based paint, introduced by Sherwin-Williams in 1941. The Soyo process for production of acrylonitrile, developed by Soyo in 1957 and commercialized in 1960. Topic 1997. First use of radiation chemistry for commercial products by Raychem Corporation in 1957. Electrolytic production of bromine also known as the Dow process by Herbert Henry Dow in 1891 at the Evans Mill in Midland, Michigan The hall herold process for production of aluminum by electrochemistry, discovered by American chemist Charles Martin Hall in 1886 and independently the same year by French chemist Paul Herold. Gilman Hall at the University of California, Berkeley, built between 1916 and 1917 in Berkeley, California. Topic 1998 Discovery of histamine H2 receptor antagonists and the introduction of tagamet by scientists at Smith Klein and French in 1976 Discovery of an electric arc process for the commercial production of calcium carbide and acetylene discovered by Canadian inventor Thomas Wilson in 1892 Research and production of synthetic rubber, developed by the United States Synthetic Rubber Program between 1939 and 1945. Hafmeyer Hall at Columbia University, built between 1896 and 1898 under the direction of Charles Frederick Chandler in New York City, New York. First commercial fluid bed reactor for petroleum cracking, which went on stream in 1942 at the Baton Rouge refinery of the Standard Oil Company of New Jersey. The Raman effect, discovered by Indian physicist Chandrasekhara Venkata Raman in 1928 at the Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science. 
1999 Hermann Staudinger's research on macromolecular chemistry at the University of Freiburg between 1926 and 1956 synthesis of physostigmine by Percy Lavin Julian at DePauw University in 1935, which made physostigmine readily available for the treatment of glaucoma work of Antoine Lavoisier to elucidate the principles of modern chemistry in the late 1700s synthesis of progesterone by Russell Marker at Pennsylvania State University in 1938 a process now known as marker degradation, and the development of the Mexican steroid hormone industry by Syntex SA in the 1940s separation of rare earth elements by Charles James at the University of New Hampshire in the early 1900s discovery of polypropylene and development of a new high-density polyethylene by J. Paul Hogan and Robert Banks at Phillips Petroleum Company in 1951 discovery of penicillin by Alexander Fleming at St. Mary's Hospital, London in 1928, and its large-scale development between 1939 and 1945 at the USDA Northern Regional Research Laboratory, Abbott Laboratories, Ledley Laboratories, Merck & Co., Inc., Chaz. Pfizer & Co., Inc., and E.R. Squibb & Sons. 2000 Edgar Farr's Smith Memorial Collection in the History of Chemistry at the University of Pennsylvania, opened in 1931. Discovery of helium in natural gas by Hamilton Cady and David Ford McFarland at the University of Kansas in 1905 Isolation of organic free radicals by Moses Gomberg at the University of Michigan in 1900 Discovery of new elements beyond curium by researchers at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory in Berkeley, California Burwood House in Wiltshire, UK, site of Joseph Priestley's discovery of oxygen in 1774 Nucleic acid and protein chemistry at Rockefeller University Wallace Carothers' research on polymers at DuPont between 1928 and 1937 Foundations of Polymer Science, Wallace Carothers and the Development of Nylon National Historic Chemical Landmarks. American Chemical Society. Retrieved of November 2017